Hey guys, this is Gundam Freedom and Happy New Year to all of you. And since it's the year of the dragon this year, 2024, I thought to modify my old no grade dragon Gundam. So from a limited no grade kit into um, a bit better kit than the usual, which is um, to make it look like a modern high grade. So yeah. So first off is the leg. So here is the leg of the Dragon Gundam. So what I did is, um, this leg is already finished. I just have to repaint it. So what I did is I changed the poly cap here on the ankle uh, ankle part. Um, I used a poly cap from I think Unicorn, which made the ball joint um, a bit lower. So that the foot can have a much better range of motion in terms of side to side, forward and back. As you can see here, it can stand with the foot flat on the ground. Because in the original ball joint, it can only bend um, only that far inwards. But since I changed the polycap, it can now bend a little bit more. So that it can have a, flatter, a flat uh, foot on the ground. When it's just standing and then I also changed the knee part and the upper leg into a high grade version so what I did is a I, I used a third party uh, core Gundam for the leg what I did is I just drilled a hole here on the inside of the knee so that it can accommodate the uh, joint here on the original leg of the Dragon Gundam and then I had just attached the upper leg here on the um, knee armor and now it has a peg joint in for the hips instead of just the normal old ball joint which is a bit loose on the old kits and now um, on the old kit before modifying it it can bend uh, a lot without even modifying the knee but since um, this is a double jointed knee. It can bend almost the same as the original knee joint as the Dragon Gundam, but in now it looks much better and much uh, There's a much better articulation on the hip area so it can now do the splits when it's been attached on the waist area Speaking of the waist area here is the waist Um, what uh, originally on the kit the back skirt and the the whole waist and the um, I think the torso is connected with each other including the side skirts so what I did is I cut out the back skirt from the uh, torso here as you can see the cut area here on the uh, skirts I will clean it up and then repaint the kit for so that it can look much better and then I also, I did the same technique that I did on the Ultron Gundam that I did last time. Which is to remove the ball, uh, the end of the ball joint here on the hip so that it can expose the peg here. So that the legs can just, just attach on the peg here of the Dragon Gundam's waist. So yeah, that's just the modification which is just remove the... Uh, separate the torso from the skirt armors and then the front skirts are the same they're just ball jointed here it's just easy to uh, remove because it's a bit loose when I paint this kit it can it will be stiff so yeah it's a bit loose and then let's attach the leg here the leg can att attach just like a normal high grade so now it can do the splits although it's not a complete split it can now do a much better um, in and out motion for the leg unlike the original uh, hip area here so that's the lower body let me just attach the other leg so overall on this uh, project the legs are done so I only need to do the upper body and the arms to improve the Dragon Gundam here. Let me just 
understand him here on the background. Okay, then for the torso, here's the torso. So originally, the torso is only until here, so it's a little, uh, a small torso, so it's only up to there, originally. And what I did is I got a Tolgis tree chest piece, the lower chest, and then just glued it on the uh, chest area here of the Dragon Gundam and just attached a peg here so that it can attach on the waist area. And then what I did is I carved out the whole inside of the chest and then this polycap looking plastic parts here are from the Leo, I think, and I just glued it here on the inside of the body, as you can see here. Although there's an awkward gap here inside, I will just attach a plastic plate here so that it can cover up the gaps on the sides here. And then I will I remove the original neck piece of the Dragon Gundam and I will use a plastic neck piece. As you can see here. I will just glue this here on the neck so that it can have a much longer neck piece because the original polycap neck is very low inside the chest. So yeah, that's what I will do. And then I will remove the sticker and change it into a and paint it into a metallic red. So yeah, it's a bit um, on the incomplete side because I have to clean it up a, little, a lot and then I just re repaint it. Like I've said, I have to uh, fill in the gaps here on the chest area so that it can look much better and glue the um, neck piece here on the top. But overall, it's almost done so yeah that's a chest we just attach it on the lower body here and then for the head this is the same head as the normal dragon gundam what i did is i just painted the white muzzle here on the face the face mask because originally it's a sticker so I just painted it white and then I also painted the eyes green and black for the outline. And then I I removed some plastic area here on the back of the head so that the ponytail here can move much further up than it can originally because it can only move a little bit until there if the piece here is attached. But now it can move much further up so that it can... Uh, move away from the core lander which is blocking the articulation of the head here so that's the head I also added a metallic sticker here for the camera lens of the forehead on the v-fin and just I just need to repaint this head and it's going to be done and then for the core lander um, I'm thinking of removing this um, spikes here and replacing them with a longer uh, plastic tube or uh, plastic rod so that it will look much better than it originally is so that's the core lander just need to repaint again the whole uh, core lander here and then the for the arms um, it's not yet been started so what I will do is I will remove the polycap here as well as the socket here for the hand since I have some extra um, inner frame of the bar bottles here I will just get this uh, cup here cup area for the hand and then attach it on to the hand here of the Dragon Gundam and just so that it can use the high grade hands which are these hands, uh, close fist hands, although it will also use the holding hand for the other weapon that I will give it to. So, yeah, I need to modify the wrist area here so that it can accommodate this ball joint for the new hand. And then for the elbow joint, um, I will not be using the Barbatos um, elbow joint. 
I'm still waiting for a box of scraps from a friend of mine which I will use for the elbow and the bicep area for the Dragon Gundam here which can fit into the shoulder armor inside here. I just need to hollow out the area here of the shoulder armor so that it can fit the uh, new bicep and elbow joint from the newer high grade so that it can have a much better articulation and so that it can also accommodate the ball joint for the torso here so so far that's where I'm at on this project so it's about I think 40% done but when the scrap parts from a friend of mine arrives here, it will be um, faster to modify this kit. So yeah, I also added a new weapon for this kit, which is the beam staff or the flag staff that it has. What I did is I just got this um, plastic rod from runners, from a plastic runner of I think the Aerial Gundam. So I just removed some of the... Um, areas here the nubs from the runners and then I will just sharpen the edge here because on photos of the Dragon Gundam while holding the flag staff the end of it is um, point, pointy and then the end here has the flag on it so I'm still thinking of what material I will use for the flag here of the uh, staff here but I think I'm thinking of using a plas a clear plastic and then just painting it into yellow. So yeah. So that's it for the update of the Dragon Gundam. Hopefully the parts that I need for this kit arrives within this week or next week so that I can finish this guy uh, within the month and then I will review it once I have finished all of the Endless Waltz uh, kits that I will review for the whole month. So look forward to the finished product of this kit and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye!